story through dance is not a fundamental of a Western American culture. It is a little difficult for people to wrap their head around what I mean when I say, oh, we're going to use dance to explore this environmental topic. And it's really show, don't tell for, for me. Once you, once you see it, you definitely, you'll, you'll get it. My name is Jamie McRae. I am the environmental social scientist for Delaware Sea Grant. And one of the reasons that I think adding the performing arts into conversations or learning about environmental topics powerful is it helps you capture different segments of society that are not always initially engaged with that environmental issue. For example, one of the projects that I did with Delaware Sea Grant was National Water Dance. I worked with the UD Dance Minor and also a professional dance company called Pieces of a Dream out of Wilmington. With all of these different um, partners, we got to reach a wide range of, of people. So you have professional dancers, you have students that are in accounting, you have students that are pre-med. You really get to see the, the wider range. And what we talked about with National Water Dance was one, what are your personal stories um, and how are those connected with water? So what are your, your feelings about it? What strong memories do you have? And you start there connecting with the resource. And then we went to how does stormwater water move through out an urban area? And one of the really fun things was seeing people's light bulb moments. We had a question of, oh, so you mean no stormwater gets treated? Well, what can we do about that? Is there any place that is actually treating their stormwater? Could you do a rain barrel? Could you do a rain garden? So not just, you know, giving people bad news, but also giving them, you know, action items and sort of that, that spark of tangible hope. Using dancing, you get to interact with a lot of different people and, you know, you, you get to have these conversations that you might not otherwise.